In the digital age, there's something magical about a place like this. So this is our vault. Deep inside the Puget Sound Regional Branch of the Washington State Archives, history is preserved the old-fashioned way. This so what treasures line. did you find? <laughs> Rod Kuhn made many visits here, digging into the Port of Tacoma's first century. That's the mother mode. Yeah. Cool. For 38 years, Kuhn worked in the port's communications office. The historic first ship that called at the port of Tacoma, uh, which was the Edmore. After retiring, he wrote a photo book about port history. I just think it's a fascinating story to tell. Going through hundreds of negatives, Kuhn unearthed moments nearly lost to time. That's where I found photos of President Harding and his presidential party. President Warren Harding's 1923 Tacoma speech is well documented. What Kuhn didn't know until he found the photos is that Harding left for Alaska from Pier 2 at the port. You can't just go on the internet uh, and, and type in something and necessarily see President Harding at at the port of Tacoma. That's because so many photos have yet to be digitized. The only ones that have been digitized, as far as I know, are the ones I digitized when I bought a scanner and was working on my book. 105 years after voters created the Port of Tacoma, Kuhn is traveling the region, sharing images of port history. There's the first train on Pier 1, horses grading Pier 2, a 1920s monorail system for moving cargo, Chico marks on the tide flats for a groundbreaking, and the 1984 arrival of cranes from Japan, the first time they showed up fully assembled. You got to dig deep to, to, to get to the history there. Rod Kuhn has been digging deep, uncovering the port's old stories for new generations.